Hello, and welcome back. Today is the year 4000 BC, and in the next 6000 years, I'll be causing, performing, and enforcing Cold War levels of nuclear annihilation to everybody in this peaceful Civilization 6 world. Let's start our empire off right here. Welcome to Bumchus, gentlemen. Stay away from the mountains. It's been about 600 years since I invented history, and we have yet to find a singular person. I guess these barbarians will have to do. A few decades after the great loss of 3240 BC, word had gotten around about my weakened state and we had scouts trespassing on private property. Give me a hundred years and I'll show you what I think of that. Then in 2200 BC, God came down from the heavens, grabbed me by my head, leaned in and whispered, Heavy will vomit down your throat. And now we have crypticism and therapy. After 2,000 years of isolation, we had finally met our first human, Masa Mufasa, the first Mr. Beast and leader of the Mali Empire. Although, they don't seem to like me very much. And now we've met the Scythians. Yeah, 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 just uh, give me your capital's location. I, uh, I need that detailed information for various trade routes. What's that, Mali? You don't like me making religious units? Well, let me show you what my god can do with a few drums of gasoline. We also met Nombia, Rome, and Arabia. Oh no 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 guys, nothing's uh nothing's going on over here. Just 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 stay over there. Alright, Marla, you keep <laughs> that up and we're gonna start having some big problems. Do you know how many forests you own? My people have finally founded a new form of governance. They might not like it, but I certainly will. A thousand short years later, and now I have an army to invade ma <coughs> I mean to uh, protect myself against uh, barbarians. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, just uh, protecting my lands against potential barbarian invasion, don't mind me. Well, you know what they say, a good offense is an even better defense. And after a short 60 years and a few sacrifices, we had finally taken Come By Sali. Or as it's now called, Come By and See. I also now have access to all the Mali supply lines. So, try farming gold now, Mali. Currently, everybody now has a secret hatred of me. Even Best Bro Caesar's not looking too happy. <laughs> For some reason, Numbia's just kind of alright with it. Thanks, Numbia. Much appreciate. Come by and see, weren't too happy with me destroying this city, taking over this city, and then renaming this city. But I'd like to reiterate with Gun. And after 20 years of peacekeeping efforts, the city of Come by decided to vote me back in at a vote of 102%. Nice. Thanks, guys. I'll be sure to. Oh! It's 1190 now, and I've captured Nyanda, the capital of Mali. Uh oh. Scythia's joined the war now, and they've brought horses. A whole horse load of horses. Rome, come fight for me. Let's kick start this world war. In other news, a giant black void is overtaking half the continent, really establishing a new life in this game. I can't wait to invade them later. 300 years and a few rocks later, I have now relegated Mali to a simple city-state. Unfortunately, this caused everybody to hate me more. Don't worry though, these guys will cease to exist in a few years anyway. After almost half a millennium of ignoring my religion, similar to how a cracked out man could ignore several 7.62 rounds to the torso, I realized, oh yeah, I'm losing this war. Alright boyos, it's conscription time! So I sent missionary after missionary to the front lines, to give their lives for crypticism, all for God. Our God. Now that's enough religious talk, back to war! I then set my sights on the massive black void. Somehow, it grew and consumed even more cities. But don't you worry, fellow civilizations. I will gladly take the mantle of the UN and protect you against this freedom. Ooh. I'll take your guns up. And then Mali died. Sorry, Mufasa. Your people didn't want to partake in my nuclear died. annihilation party. You fought a good fight, and now it's over. Thanks for the money. After about 50 years, I've managed to free all the free cities from the freedom they're free to experience. And now, they work for me. Shielding me is my purple buffer state from my very, very angry neighbors. Okay, see now, bonus Aries, you, you can't just simply be allied with other powers. It makes me look bad. Yeah, unfortunately, doing that really pissed everybody off. But since I have nothing left to lose, it's time for some bigger stick diplomacy time. And I have a very big stick. Oh, now Arabia wants to fight. Now, while Arabia might have the numerical superiority, I have this magical tool called ballistics and money. And after 25 years, the entire Arabian army was decimated, and I owned their strongest border city. Now, people say that you have to make a dinghy before you can make a 200 ton warship, and I'd like to say to that, no. Almost 100 years later, and our war was over, I had decimated the Arabian army, taken their capital, forced some very harsh reparations, and split their nation in two. To quote Sun Tzu, Divide their cheeks, and you'll make them feel weak. The Black Void started up again, this time engulfing the entire Scythian Empire. 
I mean, it's not like they were doing much. Maybe it's for the best. Wow. Now this is awkward. Greetings, Australia. I'll need to repossess some of your land. Just uh, this, a little bit of this, uh, here, and there. Thank you. Australia had been defeated in four years. A new world record. I then reclaimed the Scythian capital and decided to grant Scythia a second chance at life. Just kind of as my little science project. To see what they'll do and laugh at them every now and again. Okay, Tom Rius, I gave you life. The least you could do is support my removal of everyone else's. It's 1934 now and I've launched a satellite. And now I see everything. Now, Civilization VI started to crash a whole lot around the 40s. I mean, it's no surprise. I estimate that 99.6% of players leave this game before turn 200. So I may have gotten the farthest in this game's history. So we'd better watch out, gentlemen. We're in uncharted territory now. Now, in 30 years, I've managed to turn one nuke into 27, including 12 thermo nukes. I have essentially turned my empire into a nuke-making factory. Hey, Arabia, look out. Wait a minute. Oh no. We've come to some distressing news. Arabia has, a uh, weapons of mass destruction. And worse yet, Arabia is friends of Greece, who has benefits of England, who is pals of Scythia, who somehow like the Germans, and almost everybody hates Rome. I knew that day would come. Somehow, some why, some where. I had the gut feeling that everybody held a hatred towards me, but I was preparing. I was ready for this. And that's it. I won. After winning the greatest great war to ever war, the world had become mine, my own little oyster. Midway through the war, I had started a small army for cleanup purposes, the toiletry camperers, and they ran around the map, terrifying this dumb grass into nice, usable farmland. All that was left in my way to total global domination were these little itty bitty city states, and a few conscientiously objecting barbarians. Here, and there. And after a short 20 years, we had claimed the entire capturable world. We owned everything. But you might have noticed, we're missing a few cities. Yep, while we're beating the world, it seems the universe has become our new opponent. Now it was us versus the greater asteroid belt. But now was the time for expansion. We may own most of the world, but I want all of it. I started a mass production of manpower. Conscription's back in effect, boys. This time, it's for your children. We do it like it's the 1950s. The Red Terror? Ha! <laughs> it's the Green Terror now. Now it was the year 2170. We'd claimed all the land in the entire map. 
only leaving a few spots which were quite literally unclaimable. Panotia and Laurasia had been converted from continents to literal apologos. My capital was dead, and so was Mali's, Rome's, Greece's, yeah pretty much everyone's, except the Polynesians. No idea why. We had lost so many cities in our survival against space that the name generator was giving me American and even Chinese city names because we had run out of Indian city names. But for us, it was now the end. I annexed every nation, took proper ownership of every city-state, even bet the planet itself. Freedom was a fickle memory to the oldest people in my empire. All history was written by me. The United Nations was now the United Nation. My god says I'm the best and to sub to cryptic. What? You're gonna disprove it? Oh, you found an old coin that states it's from Mali? Uh, pff, yeah, pff, yeah, no, I'm just, just a prank, man. Uh, let me just, let me see that coin real quick. Ah! Yeah, just, um, just stay over there. Now, my world ends its rudimentary turn-based life at the year of 2170. So thanks for watching. Bye.